With success in life comes more haters. Don't make them hurt your feelings. Use them for fuel. Use them for energy. In times of need, put them on mental Rolodex in your mind. And when you don't want to do shit, roll through your brain. Pull up that person who said you couldn't do something. Work fast enough, good enough, smart enough. Use them for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. In life, we have to continue pushing past the odds. Use everything this world has to give you for fuel. Stay hard. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement. Move forward and do that every single day, no matter what, including today. You aren't getting it any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. Today I was wondering, this guy passes me in the car. It's about 100 degrees out here, 70% humidity. The guy comes back around, looks at me. He pulls his car by me and says, why are you out here? I said, because you're not. Sometimes your motivation needs to be because no one else wants to do it. We need doctors. We need dentists. We need teachers. We also need savages. This message I do is not for everybody. I'm not asking you to be like me. Do you. Stay hard. You will need to normalize in your mind walking alone. You got to get up on your own. You got to be able to make big decisions on your own. You're gonna lose weight on your own. There are a myriad of targets you have to hit by yourself. Oftentimes, there's the people that go away into a very healthy isolation to equip themselves, to condition themselves, to educate themselves, to come out in power. And so you gotta get into this workspace where you can do it by yourself. It doesn't matter if it's the office, it doesn't matter if it's the gym, it doesn't matter if it's the court, it doesn't matter if it's the field. It doesn't matter what arena you are stepping into. You gotta get to that place where you don't need attention, you don't need recognition, you don't need the accolades. You just wanna put in the work and the next time you surface, the next time you show up, it's game over. Life isn't fair. It shouldn't be fair. It's a trial ground, it's a testing ground. It's built to make us harder, to test us, to drive us. Mentality is the only thing that gets us through life. We are all underdogs in life. Even the baddest person in the world should think that way. So you should always have I've never arrived mentality. No matter where you come from, the sewer or wherever you think you're from, nothing should be able to hurt you. If you believe that, it starts to become true. It's hard to let go when you work so hard to get what you have got. Everything that you have put into yourself, everything that you have dedicated yourself to, you will get it back. You have no choice but to get it back. But this setback, it may discourage you a bit. It may put you in a position where you feel less of yourself. You don't even feel that you deserve what you are enduring right now. But who's to say what you don't deserve? Who's to say this is not something that is necessary for you to build on? Here we are, once again, we're going to get it back. We're gonna fight for it again. We're gonna believe in ourselves again. We're gonna trust in our abilities again. The steps that we take may not be fast enough for us, but we have to continue to take the steps. If you wake up in the morning and you don't wanna do something, you don't care enough about yourself. That's what you need to really research is, man, why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is that is the number one purpose in life, to better oneself. So that's the only purpose I need.